Hello, in this video, we'll be comparing two types of grip for your Quest 2 controllers, one from AMVR and one's from Kiwi Design to find out which one might be best suited for you. So in the video, I'll show you what you get in the box, how to fit these grips to your Quest 2 controllers, as well as doing a play test, comparing them and giving a little summary at the end. As always, there are timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part. Now, if you like the video, do remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already and enjoy this kind of content, you love your Quest 2, then you might also want to consider subscribing. So now on to the review. Now, before we go on to comparing these grips, you might be asking what are grips used for? Why do we want a pair of these? And it's so you can have the controllers attached to your hand without having to grip them all the time. So without these grips, I'd have to always hold onto the controllers. So what this means is I don't have to hold onto the controller all of the time. So when I'm in a game and I let go of an object, I can actually release the controller, making it feel more realistic. Now, of course, I still feel the controller along the palm of my hand, so it isn't 100%, but it still feels a bit more immersive. The same thing goes for when throwing objects. I can release the controller like I'm actually throwing an object. And again, it makes things feel a bit more realistic when I'm playing a game. The other thing I think these do is add an extra layer of safety. So in addition to the wrist strap, they'll attach these to your hands to help ensure they don't go flying and hurt someone or break something in your house. Starting with the Kiwi Design Grips, you can pick up a pair of these for about 30 US dollars. And you can get them in black, black and white, or just white. In the Kiwi Design box, you get the two rubberized Quest 2 grips along with wrist straps. You also get a couple of spare cords. Now these cords are used to tighten the straps on your hands, so you get two of them spare. You also get four spare battery tabs. They help you pull the batteries out when you need to change them. Then if that wasn't enough, you also get two transparent ring protectors. And finally, we get these two cloth Velcro sleeves that you can put around the hand straps to make them tighter if they feel a bit loose. And then we have the Kiwi Design Manual with installation instructions. Let's take a closer look at those grips. The main body is this hollow piece of rubber from the bottom to the top. It actually feels quite good to hold, it's quite soft. It has this texturized grip to it that I can imagine will help keep it in your hands when they do get sweaty, especially when you're exercising. You also have this cord here. You just push in this button, pull that cord, and it tightens the grip around your hand. But if for whatever reason the grip is still not tight enough around your hands, you do have these Velcro sleeves. They're made out of cloth, and attaching them is meant to make the fit a bit more snug. Now inside the rubber grip, you do have these plastic controller battery covers. So to attach this, you do need to take off the original Quest controller battery cover and slide it into this one that's already inside the rubber grip. Then around the top, you have these two buttons, so you can loop it over the top of the controller to attach it on there. And finally, you have these transparent ring protectors, one for the left controller, one for the right, and pretty self-explanatory, they help protect the rings from damage. So now I'm going to show you how to fit it on. It's real simple. You just need to take off the original battery cover for your controller, then take out the battery. Then once you've done that, you just slide the controller into the rubber sleeve until you hear it click. Then once the controller's in place, we loop those rubber tabs over the top of the controller and fasten them in place using those buttons. Now one feature I really like about these is that there is a handy battery compartment built into the grips themselves so that you can change the battery without having to take off the grips each time. Then you tighten the wrist strap to your wrist and tighten the hand strap. Then you just put on the ring protector which just slips on really easily and there you have it, it's good to go. So just a quick first impressions without actually having play tested these. It feels quite comfortable and like I say the material feels quite soft in my hands and quite grippy as well. The triggers and all the buttons and joystick, I can easily reach those without any problems. The strap on my hand also feels reasonably tight like it's holding it to my hand quite well and it's also quite comfortable as the strap is made out of soft material and it's padded. Looks wise it looks okay, I don't think it looks fantastic in my opinion but then again it doesn't look bad by any means. And finally, the wrist strap feels quite good. It feels better than the stock standard Quest 2 wrist strap. I think it might be because it has a thicker rope and just feels a bit sturdier around my wrist. So overall, before playtesting any of it, some good first impressions for the Kiwi Design Grip. 
Now onto the AMVR grip. You can get a pair of these for about 20 US dollars and they come in one color, grayish white plastic with a black strap. You don't get as much in the box as the Kiwi design grips, but you gotta remember these are 10 US dollars cheaper. Or to put it another way, they are two thirds the price of the Kiwi design grips. So in the box you get the two grips. You also get these spare elasticated bands that attach the top of the hand strap to the gray plastic cover. And finally, you get the warranty card and user manual. So unlike the Kiwi design grips, the strap is not padded and it's made out of this fake leather type material that you tighten simply by using Velcro. I can pull the strap out if I like and you see up the top one of those elasticated bands that are holding the top of that strap to the gray plastic cover. Then if I move down to the bottom, there's this button that I can undo to completely remove that hand strap if I wanted. Now let's take a look at that elasticated band that's holding the top of the strap to the gray plastic. It reminds me a lot of a hair tie. In fact, if I compare the two, there's not much difference and you could probably substitute a hair tie in its place if you needed to. Now, just like the Kiwi design grips, you have a removable battery compartment cover so that you can access the battery without having to take the grips off, which I think is a great little feature. And now let's install it. So just like the Kiwi design grips, we take off the controller battery cover, we take out the battery and we get the AMVR grip. We have to take off the battery compartment cover first before sliding it onto the controller. And once it's slotted in place, of course, we put the battery back and we replace the battery cover. And there you go, it's done. All you need to do is tighten the straps using the Velcro. Now you can use the original Quest 2 wrist straps with this if you wanted, but the wrist straps don't come with it, unlike the Kiwi Design one. So now I'll just do a quick first impressions comparison of the AMVR grips compared to the Kiwi Design grips. Both grips are very easy to install, I had no problems there. The AMVR grips do look better in my opinion when compared to the Kiwi Design grips. They are sleeker in the design and they kind of have this nice subtle honeycomb design on the grey plastic cover that I quite like. Both of the grips do feel like they're gripping to my hand reasonably well, although to make the Kiwi Design grips feel as tight as the AMVR ones, I did have to use that cloth covering that wraps around those knuckle straps to get it feeling as tight as the AMVR ones. The AMVR ones were also easier to adjust on the hand. I found using that button with the Kiwi Design ones was a bit fiddly, whereas the AMVR ones were simpler and easier to tighten. Although I will say that the Kiwi Design grips did feel more comfortable in my hand. The soft rubber and padded hand strap felt good, and the texturized material felt a lot more grippy. But overall, first impressions for the AMVR straps in terms of look, feel, and functionality, it's all looking pretty good. So now onto the playtest. I tested these grips for about a week. I played a range of different games, and sometimes I used alternating grips, so one of each type in each hand. And this was just to help me compare them as I was playing. The Kiwi Design grips were definitely more comfortable, especially after long plays. As I mentioned, the strap for the Kiwi Design grips is padded, unlike the AMVR one, which is just a strip of kind of fake leather material, which can be less comfortable. Now notice I'm not saying uncomfortable because to be honest, I didn't find the AMVR grips to be uncomfortable, just less comfortable than the Kiwi Design ones, especially after playing for a little bit of time. Another thing I noticed is that the Velcro on the AMVR straps had no stitching. From my experience, when Velcro is just glued down, then it can be prone to lifting off. And whilst it probably could be glued down again if it did lift off, it's just something to be aware of. So in terms of comfort, the Kiwi Design Grips win it for me. Now let's compare them in terms of design. And this is a tough one because both grips do what they meant to do. They grip these controllers to your hand pretty well. And I find I can access all the buttons and the thumbstick quite easily as I should be able to. And then of course you're able to easily access the battery compartment with both of them too. But I do find the AMVR grips to be better in their design. I find it easier to adjust the Velcro hand grips on the AMVR grips when compared to the Kiwi Design ones which use a button. But also the Kiwi Design grips block two front sensors on the controller. Now did it make a huge difference to my tracking? Not really, to be honest, I didn't really notice it, but just the thought that it blocked those two front sensors and could potentially have a negative effect on the tracking is something that I really didn't like about the design. And there were two more things that I didn't like about the Kiwi design grips, and that was the placement of the top of the strap. So if we compare the AMVR grips with the Kiwi design grips, we look at the top of the strap, we can see that the top of the strap actually rests higher on the AMVR grips 
than the key redesign ones. Now what this means is that with the key redesign grips, your hand is a bit lower and your index finger doesn't naturally rest on the trigger, whereas with the AMVR ones, it does. Now you could still use the trigger just fine with the Kiwi design grips. It just meant you kind of had to pull your hand up a little bit. Whereas with the AMVR ones, the design was just that little bit better, allowing your hand to fit more naturally around the controller. And the final small thing that I didn't like about the Kiwi design grips was that the adjusting cord at the bottom, that could flap around when the gaming got a bit intense. And if that flaps around, it might hit your hand, which could break immersion a little bit. And of course with the AMVR grips you get none of that so the AMVR grips are better on that front too. So for me the AMVR grips are that little bit better in design. And now moving on to features, and that would have to go to the Kiwi design grips. They do have more features than the AMVR ones, for example the ring protectors and the included wrist strap. Not forgetting the rubber coating that covers the entire controller making it easier to grip and offering a bit of protection. But then again, the AMVR grips are about two thirds the price of the Kiwi design ones. So my final verdict on both of them is that they are both good Quest 2 grips and it really depends on what you're after. If you're after maybe something a bit cheaper, something that's quite simple but will do the job and will do it well offering a functional design, then you might want to consider the AMVR ones. However, if you've got a bit more cash to splash, you want something a bit more deluxe and are willing to overlook some of the smaller design flaws such as the blocking of the two front sensors and the placement of the hand which could be a bit better, then you might want to check out the Kiwi design grips. So what did you think of these grips? Which ones will you be going for? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'd love to hear from you. For me, I think these are both good quality Quest 2 grips, and it really depends on what you're after as to which one might suit you best. Both have their pros and cons, and it all depends on your budget, what you like in terms of look, feel, and comfort. Anyway, so that's it from me today. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Remember, if you have liked it, to give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed already and you like this kind of content, you love your quest too, then you might also consider subscribing. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.